So in this video, we're going to solve 7 sine squared x minus 5 sine x plus cos squared x equals 0. And we're going to solve it between 0 and 360, so we're into degrees, OK? So make sure your calculator is in degrees. OK, so um, first look at something like this. Um, it may appear quite absolutely horrible, OK? Um, and knowing that we can, that we have a trigonometric identity, sine squared plus cos squared equals 1, we know that we can make a replacement for sine squared, or we could make a replacement for cos squared. So we could theoretically replace either of those two. We can't replace sine x, OK? Uh, that stays fixed, but we can apply it to one of the squares. Now, which one should we use? Well, you've got to think about where we're going to be in the next couple of lines. We want to make sure that we've got everything to be sine x or everything to be cos x. And because of that sine x, that single sine x is already there, it makes sense to make everything sine x. And so I'm going to replace cos squared with 1 minus sine squared. So I'm going to get 7 sine squared x minus 5 sine x plus 1 minus sine squared x is 0. OK? So that would be the replacement I would make. So I now have 6 sine squared x minus 5 sine x plus 1 is equal to 0. Now, this quadratic factorises. So we would have 2 sine x in there and 3 sine x in there. And we would need um, a minus 1 and a minus 1 there to make the plus 1 and to make minus 5 sine x. So either this bracket is 0, in which case sine x is equal to 1 half, or this bracket is 0, in which case sine x is 1 third. So let's sketch sine x. OK, so this is between 0 and 360. So sine x equals 1 half. There is 1 half. And so there are the two solutions. So I can inverse sine of 1 half. OK, so inverse sine of 1 half is 30 degrees. So this one is 30 degrees. So this one is 180. Take away 30 degrees. And so the two solutions are 30 and 150. Now, for this, sine x is 1 third. 1 third is about there. So we're getting two more solutions from this one. So we should get one that is less than 30 degrees and one that is more than 150. So inverse sine of 1 third. Uh, gets me 19.5. So x is inverse sine of one third, which is equal to 19.5 degrees to one decimal place. So that's that one. And then I can subtract that from 180 to get my second solution, which is 160.5 to one decimal place. OK? And that's the four solutions that solve the original problem.